Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More. We're standing outside a house flip we just bought. Purchased this for two hundred and forty-one thousand. Uh, should be worth right around three thirty when we're done, and it will be a relatively easy flip um, relative to what we've been buying recently. So that will be nice. Um, this is one that we bought from a wholesaler, and I think they were asking two nineteen something like that. And they kind of got all the investors into a bidding war, which happens sometimes. And, um, oh, this happened before too. There we go. And uh, we decided to come up a little bit in price just because it should be a very simple, easy flip and a really cool house. And Nikki, my project manager, is actually the one who saw this. I was on my little work vacation when, oh, wind chime. Not a ghost, just a wind chime. <laughs> and, uh, she saw it. I've not seen the inside until today. So I was actually really happy with it once I got in here and saw it. Um, we will probably do the kitchen, flooring, paint, fixtures, doors, but not much else besides that. So this was built, I think, in the early 80s. So I'd love for it to have hardwood under here. But I can't imagine it does a kind of time period when they did not do hardwood. The bathrooms aren't even that bad either. Um, they're not amazing, but I'll have to ask Nikki what she thinks. We might even be able to save this tub and this tile. Maybe. Clean up the grout, we'll see. But it's not that bad. The doors are a little beat up. They're flat panel. They're hollow, so I'm thinking those probably need done, and some of them don't match. But otherwise, you know, it's really not a bad house. I wish more of them we bought looked like this. Let's say that. The windows are newer, so we don't have to do those. That's a big expense we're avoiding. There's one hole in the wall. I mean, usually we have like 15 holes in the walls, so that's great. I haven't looked in the closet. One thing you learn, when you buy wholesale properties, oh, they leave pictures. Why do people do, oh no, like a kid's scrapbook. I always, yeah, why do people leave stuff like that? But anyway, when you're buying a wholesale house, you're almost always gonna get stuff left in it. It's not like you're buying it from the multiple listing service with agents where they make sure it's clean and everything's out. And you know, that's just part of the business. We know that's probably gonna happen. It has, an attic fan, so that's cool. Those are actually really nice to have. My first house had one of those. So it does have three bedrooms up here, one bathroom up here. I'd love for it to have its own master bath, but it doesn't, so that's just something we'll have to deal with. For those wondering and who are new to the channel, we're in Greeley, Colorado. That's where we do most of our flips right around Greeley within a 30 mile radius. But um, that's the upstairs, and then we'll head down to the lower level. So I'm thinking, hoping we can get away with 25,000 and work on this. Um, everything keeps getting more expensive every time we do a flip, but <laughs> uh, we're not doing the bathrooms, we're not doing anything structural, we're not doing windows, so hopefully we can stay in that range. About another twenty-five to thirty thousand in um, selling costs, financing costs, carrying costs as well, and then, um, like I said, hoping to sell right around three thirty. So it should be a pretty quick, easy one. So you can see this lower level is a family room, then they have another bathroom with the laundry, sink, toilet, and shower, which is in pretty good shape. We're gonna keep that. And you might notice we have another tri-level similar to this. It's got the laundry room with the bathroom in it, but that one is just a tri-level. It does not have the basement. This is a four level, so that's nice. Down here, we have an office. This is considered an office because one, there's no window, and two, Oh, I'll show that in just a second. 
there is the hot water heater or water heater, sorry, and furnace coming off this room. So at least in Colorado, if you want to have a legal bedroom, you cannot have the furnace water heater only access coming from a bedroom. It'd have to have a separate access off the hallway. So even if we had a window, we could not have this in actual bedroom. And these look good too. So that would be fantastic if we're not doing any HVAC. That's what I was showing the giant bear. So um, that's a weird book. Positions, what is that exactly? Yep, it sure is. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is the, I'm trying to keep my channel kid friendly, so I won't talk too much about that book. The fourth bedroom, downstairs, egress window. This was built in the time frame when it was required to have egress windows. That one is not new, but you know what? I bet we can get away without doing it because it's down here and it's still in relatively good shape. Well, we might as well open all the closets if we're going to open one of them. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. A shoe. Okay. All right. Now we'll head back upstairs and check out the backyard and the garage. Oh, and we got a sweet TV and a deal, too. All right. So the garage, nothing fancy, but it's big. It is definitely deeper than normal and has a lot of room. So that's a great, great advantage. And back here, big, nice yard. You've got your air conditioning right there. We may have to paint the back of this house or at least touch it up. Obviously there's some issues right there, but nothing major. And then over here, look, we have a little kid's house. So housing is very expensive in Colorado. This is one way to make it more affordable is adding a second unit to your property. So you can just make your mother or father live in here to save money. <laughs> no. What's really cool, I would love this as a kid, because it's got skylights, and I used to think skylights were the coolest thing ever. As an adult, I realized that most skylights leak, and they're not quite as cool as I used to think they were. All right, so that is the house. This is a great one, really excited about it. Should be pretty easy to do, and it's probably gonna look really cool compared to what it looks like right now for not a whole lot of money, so I wish all of them looked like this <laughs> and weren't quite as involved as some of our others like the crazy foundation house or the compound with the three houses and the commercial property we're evicting people on or the other house where we had to tear off the roof and completely rebuild it because of structural problems. Um, it'd be nice if they're all like this. Of course I buy them so I can only blame myself for buying those other properties too. All right, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Make sure you check out investformore.com for a list of all our flips and rentals and lots of advice articles and check out our other videos on YouTube. We have videos of all of our flips. We have 12 or 13 going right now. Did 23 last year, 26 the year before that, 26 the year before that. So videos of all of those are on here. And then we also have videos of our rental properties and advice too. So check all that out. All right, we'll be back soon with more videos and hope you guys enjoy this. We appreciate the comments. So keep those coming.